The monthly report contains a basic overview of your company expenses in the second and third columns. We cover these in detail in the monthly sales report video. You can find additional expense reports under the operations menu. The first of these is the expense summary. This report contains the same information as the monthly report, but it also includes year-to-date and last year's revenue, expense, and profits information. The next report in the operations menu is the factory operations report. This report has a detailed listing of your factory expenses. It is a great report to monitor your factory production capacity when you are using auto production or have a large company. The first row at the top of the report contains information about the number of vehicles you produced this month, the number of vehicles you have in inventory, and the production capacity of your company. With the production capacity, the line's value is the percentage of production lines used. The vehicle's value is the percentage of line production speed. Here, we are using 96% of our production lines, and we are producing 75% of our maximum vehicle production speed. The rows below these contain the total expenses for all your factories. The table lists every factory, how many vehicles you're producing there, and any inventory. It also tells you the wear value. The higher this value, the fewer vehicles you'll produce per production line. The game will prompt you to recondition the factory before this penalty takes effect. Capacity tells you the line usage and vehicle production pace for the individual factory. Employees are the number of employees here, and labor costs is how much these employees cost per month. Factory costs is how much the factory costs to run, not including labor or vehicle material costs. Costs per unit is your labor costs, plus factory costs, divided by production. It does not contain material costs. This value is the production share of expenses per vehicle. For example, if the material costs of a vehicle is $1,000 and the factory costs per unit is $200, the roll-off production cost of the vehicle is $1,200. Finally, material costs are the total material costs of all the vehicles produced at the factory. The next report in the operations menu is the branch operations report. This report is like the factory's operations report. The top contains total units sold, total branch employees, and totals for all your branch-related expenses. These expenses also include transportation costs, which is the cost to ship a vehicle from a factory to a branch. If enabled, we apply import taxes when shipping a vehicle from a factory with lower tax rates to a branch with higher tax rates. The amount is the difference between the two import tax rates. You can find these values in the city information window. The total expense value does not include import taxes since they are taxes. The table is also similar to the one found in the factory operations report. It lists each branch and includes the number of sales, how much where the branch has, the branch's labor costs, the branch's transportation cost, etc. Regarding wear, sales will decline as the wear increases. The game will warn you before this penalty goes into effect. With costs per unit, this value is the total expenses divided by the number of vehicles sold at the branch. This value is the cost to get the vehicle from the factory and sell it to a dealership. The more vehicles you sell at this branch, the lower this value will go. The next expense report in the operations menu is the racing report. This report lists every racing series you're active in. The table shows if the racing series is active, and your budget per month. We only charge this amount when the series is active. The table also includes prize money, your profits or losses from operating the series, and the number of wins you have this season. There are several expense reports in the game. You'll find most of them in the operations menu. In the operations menu, 
you'll find the marketing report. The top of this report contains your total marketing expenses, broken down by each marketing category. The table lists every city you're marketing in, how much you're spending overall, and in each category. Returning to the operations menu, the next expense report is the employee breakdown report. This report is a table listing each city you operate in, how many employees you have in each employment category, and the average wages you're paying. If enabled, the next report in the operations menu is pension payment. We cover the pension system more in depth with the benefits systems tutorial. In short, a pension is a retirement plan in which you pay retired employees a percentage of their wages until they die. These payments come from a pension fund. If there isn't enough in the pension fund, you must pay the retirees from your funds. Because you have to cover any shortfall, this report is important for planning the amount of money you need in the fund to cover the pensions. This report contains your payout table. The game groups retirees based on the year they retire. The first column is the year they retired. For simplification, all retirees die 25 years after they retire. The second column contains the year you stop paying this retiree group. The third column is the yearly payment made to retirees in this group, and the last column breaks this value down into a monthly amount. Every month, you will pay the monthly payout amount from the starting year until the ending year. The next report in the operations menu is warranty and parts. This report lists every vehicle still receiving parts revenues or warranty expenses. The table shows the vehicle, the parts revenues, the warranty expenses, and the profits or losses. Warranty and parts both come from your vehicle and components dependability ratings. The more cars you sell, and the worse dependability rating you have, the more revenues and expenses you'll generate. The game will cover most part failures under warranties for the first three years after you sell a vehicle. Between three and seven years, those part failures become part revenues. More parts fail in the later years of vehicle service. You will not receive parts sales from vehicles sold more than seven years ago. Sometimes, it pays to build a bad vehicle. Returning to the operations menu, you'll find the total delivery costs by model report. This table lists every active vehicle you have, the average sales price, the number of vehicles you sold, and the total delivery costs of that vehicle. Total delivery costs is the same as total unit costs, see the total unit costs video. But we calculate this number for the last month, leading to an exact value. Whereas the total unit costs found in the branch window is next month's forecast of this value. The final report in the operations menu is the outsourced components report. This report is a table that lists active outsourced components and vehicles you are purchasing from another manufacturer. The table includes important information, such as the number you ordered, the amount that has shipped, and the company you're ordering from.